Hi guys, Candy Toy Box here. Today you will need some pony beads. You're going to need a, a few feet of string, scissors, a lighter, and a needle. And you're also going to need some type of bead like this. Or like these. You could use tri beads or something like this. You want it to be kind of longer and thinner than a normal pony bead. Um, I think I got, I got these at Hobby Lobby and these smaller ones came from Joann's. And then these Fruit Loop beads I got on bead tin. Oh, and I got a new camera, so let me know if the quality is any better or if you can even tell a difference. So you're going to put on one pink bead and let that go to the middle of the string. You want your strings to be even. Then we're going to take a pink on both sides. Let those fall. Then move these beads over and then we're going to take an orange bead going to lay your string down and then cross this side over so we're making a X just crossing the strings hold these and then pull this orange bead down We're going to add an orange on both sides. You're going to add a yellow. Lay that down and cross your strings. And then once you have this started, you can just grab both ends of the string and pull down. We're going to put a yellow on both sides. Just let those fall. We're going to add a green. Cross the strings over. Grab both ends and then pull. Oh, I think I'm going to point this down a little further. We're going to add green on both sides. You're going to add a blue. Lay that down and then cross this over. And then pull the ends. So if you've made a ladder, this is a modified ladder. But then we're just going to add to it. And you might have to, if this is too loose, you're going to pull down on your middle beads. We're going to add a blue on both sides. We're going to add a purple. Take your string and cross, cross over. Grab your ends and then pull. Gonna add a purple on both sides. Whoops, I lost that one. You're gonna add a pink, lay that down, cross these over, and then grab the ends. And 
and this is what it looks like. So we're back to where we started here. You're going to repeat the same process. I'm, I think I'm going to do it three times, but we're going to see. And you can measure it on your wrist to make sure it's long enough. But I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, guys, I ended up adding three sets of the rainbow. So you're going to end with purple. If you need to make this smaller or longer, you can. But this is the size I'm going to make it. To connect these, you're going to take one side of the string and go through this pink here. You're going to pull the strings and make a knot. Okay. Once you have your knot like that, you can take your string and cross back through the pink. So you have a string on both sides. Like this. Now we can add our needle to this side of the string. And to make this easier, I'm going to flip it. Because we need to go through this pink bead. And I like to work on this side of the bracelet. So, And now we're going to add our whatever bead you have on hand. But these, I'm going to use these today. And you're going to go through the orange. Now we're going to go through the yellow. So we're just adding one of these beads in the middle here. So I'm adding one of these black beads going through the green. Now we're going to go through the blue, the purple. pink. So you're always going through the bead that's sticking out here. Going through the orange, the yellow, the green. I mean, if you want, you can put two on a two on at a time. So I'm going through the blue and then I'm picking up another one and I'm going to go through the purple. It just speeds up the process a little bit, but if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can just put one on at a time. And you want to pull your string, not super tight, but just to tighten it up a little bit as you're going around. And now we're at the end. We're going to add our last bead. And go through this pink and this black one here. So this is what that looks like so far. Now we're going to add the white. And you're going to go through the black. So we're filling in this space all the way around. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish this side, and then I'll show you the next step. 
Okay, guys, I'm at the end here. I added my last white bead. This time we're going to go through this black and this white. And I'm going to show you how to do the other side. We're going to take that string off. Add the needle to the other side. And like I said, I like to work on this side. So we're going to flip this. this around. Now we're going to go through the pink, add a black, go through the orange, add a black, go through the yellow. So this side might be a little easier because it's more open for you to see where the bead will go. Go through the purple, the pink, that's what it looks like so far. I'm going to add a black, go through the orange, add a black, go through the yellow. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that all the way around, just like we did on this side, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, I added my last bead right here. This time we're going to go through the pink and this black. This is what it looks like so far. Now we're going to add white just like we did on the other side. So you're going to add a white and go through the black. All the way around. Hopefully I have enough white here. Nope, I think I'm going to be short a few. I'm going to have to go get some. Okay, I need two more. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I could not find... I I only had one white left. So, in this... This happens, and this will happen to you eventually. Like, <laughs> you run out of... You just need, like, one more bead. But, we're just gonna improve this. So, I have this special white bead... This is a vintage bead that I've had for a long time. And I'm just going to add that. So we're going to add this white one. And then I'm going to add this heart. And we're going to go through the black and this white. See, that just made it better. So if it wasn't for that, then I wouldn't have added this fun heart. So at this point, if you wanted to, you could leave it like this and tie it. But I want to keep building. I want to add some more color. So we're going to add your... To know what color bead you're going to put on, this is the yellow row right here. So we're going to go through this white. I added a yellow. The next color is green right here. The next color is blue. Purple. Pink. We're going to add orange. And we're just going through the white here. Green. Blue.
purple, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And now we're going to add a pink and we're going to go through this heart or if you have enough beads you'll just go through that bead that you have and then we're going to go through this white and yellow go ahead and tie this off I like to do a few knots to make sure it stays nice and tight. And then you can cut this off. Gosh, I don't know if you can hear that yard work out there, but neighbors going crazy. Okay, now we're going to do this side over here. Put our needle back on. And you're just going to add the same color we did over here. So if you're unsure, just look on the other side. So we're going to add a yellow, go through this white, add a green, go through the white. So we're just going to do the same thing we did over here. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, I added my last bead, and then I went through two beads and then I went ahead and made a knot and then cut that off. But this is what it looks like. I really like how this one has like texture. Something, something new and different. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you next time.